Another day on the hill farm. Welcome back to Samshuk Farming. Oh, she's filthy. Absolutely filthy. Yeah. Hopefully I'll be kiting grass with this ne this next weekend. So I'm going to wash her ready. Going to get her washed. Might need two washes. I don't know. It's that thick with muck. Whoa, he sits on the ground. Look at that. Uh, so I'm just going to wash it. Oliver's cutting grass still. It's the next day, so this is his second day on with it. Um, we've done a few jobs and now I'm going to wash my baby. Let's go. This is going to take some cleaning like. There is mud and dirt and dust everywhere. Cobwebs. Oh, my days. Oh, right, we'll do it before and after then, eh? Might take me a couple of days to do this. Well, let's stay to them. Oh, nightmare. What? How are you Am I going to clean it? Oh, filthy. Oh, the back end. Oh, the back end. Oh, my days. Terrible. What? Right, let's crack on. Is it very dirty? Yeah. Does it need cleaning? Yeah. Right. After water. Yeah, we water. And, 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 and wash it. And wash it. Yeah. Across yeah. the windows and them. Yeah. And the windows and windows. Yeah. And clean. And then it'll be clean, yeah. Yeah. And the top. Yeah, yeah. Mommy, right, let's crack on. Let's yeah! Crack on. Crack on! People knew her by her will To make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. Cause she knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day, butterflies so by the wheel. Even though she could knock down and never show. <sighs> Look. Look at me poor wheels. They've seen better days, haven't they? Rusty. And even this muck isn't coming off with fairy liquid in warm water. Oh dear. I need one of them uh, posh pressure washers that give warm and soap. That would be nice. But instead, I'm sticking to the old fashioned. Are you doing the old bit fashioned of, way? A bit of elbow grease, Lils. Did nobody any harm, did it? No, you just you deserve to do this. <laughs> Why? Um, we, I think I deserve a respray of these wheels, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, we need some brakes. Yeah, yeah we'll we get the brakes side. By the we'll way, fix them. we've been using the ladder to find um, yeah. nesters, and we actually found some two yes, eggs. We found two, two, yeah, two, okay. yes, just two right, yeah. blackbird ones. Okie doke, right. I don't even know if I'm making a difference, but slowly, slowly. <laughs> Where are you going with that? Oh. <laughs> Some women. Well, that's a first bath completed. There will be another, trust me. One wash won't just get it all off. Uh, the mud is stuck very well. Oh, isn't she a honey, honey bee? Mm, beautiful, glistening in the sun there. So yeah, when I've got a wash, 
another bath. Got all this off. I can polish her then. Yeah, first bath completed, second to be done. And then I'll get some polish. But you haven't done it? No, no, I've teas to make, kids to sort. Why is Jim's pants down? We got a new dog. Such a beautiful night. I don't know if this camera will show it, but <clears throat> red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Oliver's back. Just checking Puma over. Never know with him. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Nah. She's done a couple of days kiting grass, so he's enjoyed that. Why am I so red? I think it's the sunset. Um, yeah, so back home. Give it a wesh tomorrow. Ready for some more. Hopefully next week. And hopefully I get my valley out there as well. Watch this space, guys. Silage season will be coming up. And uh, I'll film what I can. Left them a bit late, but we're swapping them. I didn't take you long. Job done. Just don't care. Well, we're going to put that spare on from underneath because that's got a slit in it and it's a slow puncture. And I should have got another two tyres on the back, but they're not quite finished with the tread yet. So, anyway, just looking at these, like, they're not really rusty in there. It's not too bad. That's all right. Well, a bit dodgy, but the worst wheel is this one. Look at it. It's all rust. I don't know if the, the cat had done a good job on that. You can just see. That's how. That's what it should look like when it's coming off. Rusty. You know, no. Nothing. This is all about priming it and and you know, getting it right and then it'll last. But. Don't. But then it's some of age. I don't know if he's had a respray or not. Probably not. It's in good nick for not having a respray. That's the case. Just bonnet wants doing. Look at that. It's like varnish, varnish, varnish is coming off. Anyway, it's not scrap. No. Can't all drive round in pumas like you. What? Can't all drive round in pumas like you. That's mine. This <laughs> is no. Yeah. Oh no. No, no, no. I bought it. That puma's mine. I'm paying for half of it. Just putting everything in this shed. Ready to service. Right. So <clears throat> that's all the tackle in the shed now that we need to that we need for cropping. Um, we're going to service them all and check them over, grease them up all ready and making sure they're in good working order all tractors are to service as well but we're undercover with these so we can just do them on a wet day something like that when we first came here in 2019 when we first took over the first year we got a contractor in well it was just a lovely lad local and uh, he did a bit of bailing and whatnot so we got him to do our bailing well, we borrowed landlord's rake and that, and we sort of managed to row it up. He just came to bail. He came and he couldn't manage to come when we wanted it. It was all ready and it got wet. So 
from then on, we thought, right, we're going to have to do it ourselves. And then we're organised and we can get it as and when we want it. So that's when we started to collect our own things. <clears throat> like the baler, I think the baler. Baler. It's its fourth season now. I thought it was our third season, but Oliver said it's our fourth season, so we've got the welder. 220, it's a grand baler, it's never let us down. I think the only thing we need to the only thing we need to do with it was a roller bearing. And we messed on and on for ages sorting that roll bearing. Um, in the end, we had to sort of get Haytons to put it on because it, it beat Oliver and nothing usually beats him, but it, that did. So really, it's, it's done all right. And, you know, it's, it's grand. We've also got a wrapper. We've got my twin rotor rake that I finally paid for. And we've got a mower. That's not ours. Oliver would probably love it, just so he can upgrade a little bit. It's on bigger wheels, and they're on smaller ones. But yeah, it, it does the job, does that, Baylor? But you know, we can't really afford ten, twelve grand, whatever he wants. So we're sticking with our old welder. Um. So yeah. Uh, so now we can do it ourselves. It's a lot easier, we're not relying on anyone and we can just get bits as and when we can, so. Which makes us more efficient. Uh, so yeah, that's all our tackle ready for cropping. Well, not quite ready, but we're gonna, we're gonna get it ready, okay. That's what I meant to say. That's all we need to round bale. I think we, all together would probably round, make about a thousand round bales. We do two crops on the land we rent. Sometimes we do a little bit of luck in there, that field, but I think we've too, many, too much stock on this time to shut them out of that field, so I'm not sure on that one. And at home we'll make 500, 400, something like that. Honestly, if you come and row up and bale and work in these fields, our meadows, you wouldn't want to farm here. It's terrible. You don't know you've hit a drain all till you're in it. Oh, anyway, but it's fine. We, we do it like, it just puts a bit of strain on your machinery, tackle, your bum, <laughs> for sure. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's a rough old, rough old shop like, but it is what it is, isn't it? You know, you can do your job well on a farm like this. You can do it anywhere. I think so. Just at the land we rent. Hell, it's been some rain. Flooded. That's the one the vet pulled out. Just having a look. Big bad Billy. He's the father to all these. That's the new cow. Huh. Calves are doing well. Oh, that's the vet one. <laughs> Beast. Anyway, twins are doing well. They're all doing well. Very happy. That's the calf off the new cow. 
Oh, I'm sure it was a dark coloured one. Maybe that one actually. That's Carp Up New Cow. Yeah, because it's not our holding number that. That's the new one. She's a calm one. <clears throat> yeah, very well. Looking good. That's my favourite. Only because I organised its birth. <laughs> So all these will be ready to sell when they're six, seven month old. Currently about two months. Some are older. Just checking the crop we're going to be getting. This is the first lot of crop we're going to get. That we put our fur on. It's looking marvellous. We're going to do it on the 27th of June. <laughs> no you're not. Yes I am. No. You'll be alright, you can cuddle your baby. No, by looking at this it's falling down, so we're going to get it three weeks time. No, so 27th. No, so uh, we'll get it like... We're in contractor and book him in <laughs> the 27th. Don't need a contractor. Do to mow, Oh, to mow, you? yeah. No, no, 20 if I think. Any longer and it'll be rotting. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm not one of these buggers that dresses around after bloody lawn clippings. I want a crop of grass. Yeah, well, just before I go in will be marvellous. No, we'll be well managed without or, you, don't or, worry. Or two weeks. We'll manage without you. Or two weeks after. We'll manage two weeks after or a week before. We'll manage without Choice you. is yours. We'll manage without No, you can't. Aye. No, you can't. Just at my grandma's. Checking our lovely heifers that we let out. Doing fantastic. Still loads of grass left. Look at all that. These are what we are keeping to breed off. Out of dairy cows. Hello. The ones that I reared, very proud of them. Hello. Nice and soft. A lot different to suckler cows. Suckler calves, hello. So this is the first calf to the bull that uh, we haven't had any calves off yet. What's his name again? David. No, it begins with T. So, so it begins with T, doesn't it? David. Oh, useless. No. Bought two bulls, Solo's calved to all of his. All these uh, ones in the video I've just showed you before. They're his. Well, this is uh, our other bull. First calf to it. Oh, careful, lad. It's a bull calf. Yeah. Just walked it in, tagged it. Put a bit of DR and stuff on. Jobs are good un. So, uh, what? So, uh, what? we're just getting these cows and calves in. What? Don't tell me to shut up. What? And uh, read the bull in. So we're going to run them in. Board, board, and uh, um, the cat, the bull needs jabbing. Where's my fucking mum? What? Bull needs jabbing. Board, board. Where's your bag? Oh, he's 
There's one here. There you go. Right. So we're just going to run them in and jab the ball. Right. It's still a bit late. The footman has been to it, but once right. jabbing, kind of silly. Keep on top of it. Just shouting them down. That's the new cow. Right, come on, Billy. We need you. We got him in. You see what I mean? He's had his foot done professionally. Still on a clog there, but. It's just not. Anyway, we'll get him in crush. That's our new cow, the mad one. But she's not mad anymore. Just getting my teramycin and some injection of penicillin, antibiotics. Got him in, got him in crush. My whole body weight was on the neck bit, you know, where they fasten at the neck. My whole body was hanging by it. Couldn't hold him, so he got straight out. Anyway, second time lucky we swapped rolls, I shoved him in, Oliver necked it and wore him in. So, round two. That's all I've got time for today. I'll see you in a couple of days. And subscribe, and like, like, and comment. Subscribe. Say bye. Bye. bye.